Hey hey everyone. It's Jackie, Jackie All Things Domestic, and I'm sharing with you my five tips for new Aldi shoppers. Shopping at Aldi can be kind of daunting because, well at least for me it was. I knew that it was a different way of shopping, but I didn't really know what to expect. So the uncertainty kept me from from going essentially. And then I finally just took the plunge and it was kind of a rough go at first just because I didn't know, I forgot my bags or I didn't bring quarters, but I'm going to give you all the tips so that you don't have the same frustration I did when I started shopping at Aldi. It's been like two and a half years now that I started shopping there and I love it and I wish I would have started 10 years ago when I first started grocery shopping on a regular basis for our family. So. Once you hear my tips, if you have more, please comment below. If any of these tips helped you, I'd really love to know that as well. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so my first tip, and this may be the most important one, is to get yourself an Aldi keychain. These are the best. I bought it on Etsy. I will try to find the Etsy link that I use. It's been a couple years, so I don't know if the shop is still open, but if it is, it'll be in my comment or in my description below. But I bought this on Etsy. I really wanted a cute one. And it's meant to be on your keys so that you can add a quarter into it and you never have to hope you have a quarter in your wallet. The quarters are important because you have to put a quarter into your cart to get one. And then that cart, once it's returned, you get your quarter back. So you never spend the money, but it's just a way that all the keeps from having to have cart boys or cart girls go out into the parking lot and get all the carts that no one returns because either you, one, return it to get your own quarterback, or two, I come in with my kids and they see carts all around and they go get them and they'll return them for a quarter apiece. So you better believe that either cheap people will get their quarterback or cheap people's kids will go get the quarters for you. And so that just lets all the eliminate the cost of having cart people. They don't have to worry about it. Their carts are always taken care of and it really works very well just with a quarter. They actually have signs with a quarter that says how a quarter saves you dollars. So while I think the cart is a wonderful idea, it's really annoying if you get to Aldi and you don't have a quarter for it. I put the quarter in there and under no circumstances do I spend this quarter. This quarter only goes into an Aldi cart and this quarter comes right from the cart right back into here and it's actually been a lifesaver. Next tip, get yourself a bag stash. This is a 31 large utility tote, I believe. I use this bag to one, hold all my other bags in it, but two, it holds all of my dried goods. My boxes of cereal are um, peanut butter, coffee, anything that I get at Aldi that's dried and doesn't go in the fridge or the freezer, it just holds in here. And these um, 31 totes, I think, are really a well made company so the the straps don't fall off it's really gonna hold up to the weight I've had really good luck with them I'm actually hoping to find another one secondhand I don't want to pay full price for one but um, I got this years ago helping a co-worker have a party and I've actually really enjoyed it so I totally recommend getting yourself a large tote like this it's been beat up I've been using it like I said at Aldi every single week at least once a week for two and a half years and it has held up I just it's like my number one bag that I, <laughs> number one, number one bag that I use. Then inside I have a bunch of, um, I love Norwex. I've said that in other videos, but I have a bunch of these um, Norwex bags. They're pretty rugged and heavy duty as well. But any reusable bag that I have, I just stuff in here. And I keep about three or four of them in here at all time. I actually, I used to use some refrigerated bags but I didn't really like them and we live so close to Aldi I'm not driving 45 minutes where I have to keep stuff I don't go grocery shopping before I go do something else I come home and I take care of my groceries so a refrigerated bag for me wasn't a benefit but I keep one large utility tote stuffed with a bunch of bags and I have it in my van at all times so that's my second tip get your keychain get your bags we're gonna focus a little bit more on the store my first tip is to shop at the same Aldi until you're really used to shopping at Aldi's. 
I say this because the area I live in, in Kalamazoo, Michigan, I have three Aldi's that are really, really very close to me. They're all Kalamazoo-ish. And then I have two others that I've actually gone to as I'm like going other places and on my way home. If I stop at any of the Aldi's except for the one that's um, most close to my house, it would be very frustrating to start shopping at multiple Aldi's because none of them are set up the same way. Diapers are near the front of the the store at my Aldi but the one the second closest one that's by the Target at my house the diapers are in a totally different area so if you're trying to learn to shop at Aldi but you're going to multiple Aldi's you're going to become frustrated because where the cheese was in one store it's not going to be in another store so until you like shopping at Aldi you understand how the store is set up you understand that their prices change every week I totally do not recommend shopping at more than one Aldi get the hang of it fall in love with it, then branch out. Fourth tip is to know that Aldi is meant to be for your essentials only. Don't go there looking to find like some new name brand um, sauce mix. It's not going to be there probably. Go in looking for your staples, your meats, your cheeses, your, um, your staple produce. You're not going to find probably kale at most Aldi's, but you'll find lettuce and cabbage and carrots and celery. My Aldi doesn't carry anything super off the grid. So go to Aldi expecting to find your normal items, the things that you use in 90% of the meals. But if you're making some, um, some new Indian dish, you probably won't get all the Aldi or all the ingredients at Aldi. And if you go in knowing that, you're not going to be frustrated when you don't find some specialty items. The cool thing is Aldi does carry some specialty items. You just never know what it's going to be. So if you go in with a mindset of expecting essentials and then you're just delighted if you find something extra, you won't be upset. You'll just be delighted. And then my final tip is go into Aldi and when you buy the produce or even some meats, buy what's on sale. So every week when I go to Aldi, I don't say I have to buy strawberries and I have to buy a watermelon and I have to buy cherries. I write on my list fruit and then I go to Aldi and I see what fruit is on sale because Aldi has some really great deals. For instance, I bought six pounds of red grapes today at Aldi and it was um, like $5.80. Six pounds of grapes for $5 is an amazing deal. So my kids won't have strawberries this week, they're going to have grapes because I let the Aldi wonderful sales dictate the fruit that we intake and I feel like that's a um, just something that's really important through budgeting is to let the sales kind of dictate your meals. You can still get very creative with sales, but I don't go to Aldi to buy the fruit that I want. I let the fruit that's on sale be the fruit that I eat. I hope that makes sense. I do the same with vegetables and even with meat. And I'll give you an example with the meat. So for instance, I wasn't going to buy chicken this week, but this pack of chicken at Aldi had a $2 off sticker. Look for these red stickers. They're on more than just me. I've seen them on baked items too. But this chicken is $4.69. However, they wanted to sell it today, so they put a $2 off sticker. So I got 2.05 pounds of chicken for $2.69. That's an amazing deal. So guess what? We're having chicken somewhere this week for dinner. It's going to be in one of our meals. It's going to replace something else but I let the sale dictate. And I feel like Aldi has some really great sales. They don't always advertise them. They don't always last an entire week. It's different than a normal grocery store. So if you go in there with the expectation that you're gonna look for the deals and use the deals, you're gonna be happier than if you go in there with a set list and hope it's on sale. It might be. Aldi has great prices even if it's not something superbly blow your socks off cheap, but I prefer the superbly blow your socks off cheap. That's just the way I like to shop. So now I have my two pounds of chicken for $2.69 and we will happily have a chicken meal this week. And I'm not saying don't go into the shopping list. I'm just saying be flexible. If something's really a great deal, you're gonna get more value for your shopping trip. So my five tips for starting to shop at Aldi. Get yourself a quarter keychain. Get yourself the bag stash. Get to know one single store before you shop at multiple Aldi's. 
go in expecting just the basics. And finally, go in and let the sales dictate what you purchase. Booked a little faster if you can get some really great deals. There's nothing I love more than leaving with a ton of bags at Aldi and being like, I got all of that for $47. I love deals, I love saving money, and I feel like without bringing money in, it's a way that I can contribute to my family. So if you like my tips, like the video. If you like my video, subscribe. And if you feel like I missed anything, feel free to comment below, and I'd, lo I'd love to see what your tips are for a new Aldi shopper. Thank you.